Bobcats, Mrs. Corral here uh, with another game of Pictionary. I've been hearing that a lot of you have been winning and that I needed to step it up and be a little more challenging. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, because I need to I need to win a little bit. So I need to win a few points. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to first of all make sure my drawings are not as questionable this week. I know they've been pretty questionable. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster. We'll see how this works out. So our focus this week is on the long vowel, what? I, right, this one. We're doing that C-V-C-E, the consonant, vowel, I, consonant, and that silent, bossy, E at the end. So it's one word that you could make knowing this pattern. How about this one? Yeah, bike. Or if we needed, if we had two consonants at the beginning, like this, we could make this word What's that word? Glide. Glide, okay? So all of the words that I wrote and put in this bucket are long vowel I words. And hopefully I can draw them all. So if this is the first time that you're playing Pictionary, what you're gonna wanna do is have a piece of paper ready. And you should have my name, you can just say Mrs. C if you want, and your name should go on the other side. And every time, I will pick a word from my bucket and I have to draw a picture of that word, and then I have to write what the word is. Your job is to try to write the word down before I do. So if you notice in my picture that you already know the word, you should write it down and think about all you know about the long vowel I spelling because your word has to be spelled correct. If you spell it correct before I do, you get a point. If you're not sure what it is or you make a little mistake, which is totally fine, then I get the point. And at the end, whoever has the most points wins. And I've had a lot of first graders sending me pictures of their words and of their score and it's been really, really fun. Um, you guys have been rocking it. So, here we go. Again, we are focusing on that long I vowel, okay? So the first one that I'm going to draw is, okay. So I'm gonna draw a quick picture, again, my job, my goal this week is to go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna draw a quick picture and then I'm gonna write the word because I'm gonna try to get some points this week. So my first one is this. All right, I'm writing the word. Who got it? That one was a good drawing, huh? That's better than my rose from last week. I know that was questionable. All right, did you get kite? Does it follow that long vowel I pattern with that bossy E, right? That bossy E is making the I say I. If we didn't have that E, what would our word be? Kit. All right, next one. Somebody got a point on that round. Let's see the next word. Ooh, okay. Remember, you're thinking about all you know about the long vowel I. All right. start writing.
Did you get mice? Yeah, I tried to I tried to add some numbers to help a little bit because if it was just one, what would it be? Mouse, right? It would be this. But when there's more than one, it turned into mice. And did you notice that C makes a s sound? It's not an S. So think about some other words that you notice that have the long I and also have a s. I wonder if there will be other words that have a C instead of an S right after the long I. So be paying attention to that. All right, so that was mice. Who got the point? Maybe I got a point there, who knows? All right, next word. Ooh, okay. There's another questionable one. Why can't I make that look right? Hopefully you got it. That's a that's a questionable drawing. All right, I'm gonna start writing the word. Maybe if I do that instead. Okay. Did you get this? Did you get bike? That long vowel I with the silent E? I might have to reach out to Mr. Trot and take some drawing lessons, huh? I don't know. Hopefully it was good enough and you were able to write the word or did I get a point that time? Hmm, all right. I wonder what the score is. Is it three to zero? Is it one to two? Is it two to one? Next one. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna start writing the word. Did you get dice? What did that word remind you of? Was it another word that we just had not too long ago? Yeah, mice. And again, it had that s, and it was a c, not an s. So dice. Okay. Ready? Who's gonna get this one? Did you get a point or did I? What word is this? Slide. Slide. Remember, that bossy E at the end is making the I say I. All right, next one. Ooh, this is going to fall. Okay. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Ready? It's going to be fast. got it. Yeah, what's the word? Five. Nice. Okay. What's the score? Did I get any points yet? One, two, maybe? All right. Ooh. Okay. Let me think about how I want to draw this. All right. Might be challenging. We'll see. So 
there's part of it. What do you think it is? All right, I'm gonna start writing the word. If you need to tap it out, make sure you have all the letters in this word. It's going to be a long vowel I. I'm pointing at something. What is that? Did you get stripe? Stripe. Stripe. Who got the point? Okay. Let's see the next one. I was thinking about drawing a zebra, but I don't know if it would have looked like a zebra. I need to reach out to Mr. Trot to get some art lessons, I think. Okay, this one's gonna be fast. Are you ready? So get ready to write the word as soon as you know it, before me, maybe. Who got it? What's the word? Nine. Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one? Ooh, okay, here we go. word be? Could it be clock? Does that have a long I? No. What could my word be? I'm going to write it. Let's see who gets it. Did you get time? What time is it? Can you tell? This is my shorter hand, my hour hand, and this is my longer minute hand. What time does it say? How do you write that time? Do you remember? We had to have a number here, and then that colon, and then the other number over there. What do I write first? Did you say three? Okay, and what does that stand for when it points to the 12? Do I write 12 on the other side? No, because the minutes, we write how many minutes have passed the hour. Have any minutes passed by yet? So what do I say for that? Right, three o'clock. We write those two zeros. No minutes have gone past the hour yet. Okay, this is Pictionary. I mean, this is supposed to be uh, phonics, not math. What am I doing? It's nice to be able to do both though, huh? It's kind of fun. Mix it up. All right, back to long I. What's another long I? Ooh, okay. Long I words. Here we go. Hmm. tell you, I'll give you a hint. They're all, even though they don't really look like it, 
They're all walking this way. And this person's in front. I'm gonna write the word. Ooh. Did you get line? Maybe, maybe not. Who got the point there? All right, here we go. Another one. I think we have time for just another couple. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. see that? This is a pool and this is a type of board and this person just jumped off the board in a certain way into the water. What is that called? Did you get dive? Another questionable drawing? Jeez, Mrs. Corral, get it together. All right. We'll do and a couple. Oh, I have two more. Okay. Ooh, here we go. This one's going to be fast. Ready? Long I word. Hmm. Did you get smile? Did you have all the letters? All these, both of these consonants and this consonant and both of those vowels? Hmm. Aisle? Smile? All right, last one. Maybe this is going to be the tiebreaker. We'll see. Ooh, all right, last one. Here we go. Hopefully you know what this is. You get tired. All right. Well, I have no more words in here. I wonder how many points you got. Hopefully, I got at least one this time. I was told some of them were a little bit easy for you, and some of my drawings were a little bit questionable. Maybe I got better, or maybe I need to still talk to Mr. Trot and get some advice on how to draw. So, I hope you had fun. I hope you got some good practice with our long vowel I um, and that bossy E at the end. And I hope you guys have a really, really great week and I miss you all and I will see you so soon. Bye.